C.J. Walker. Yeah. She started that business during the Depression. Listen, yeah. folks, you can always, it depends on your state of mind that you can go out and, and, and invent or start a business but in a situation and well, become prosperous. People will always need food, clothing, shelter, and personal services. Right. There's some type of personal service or yeah. some type of th the basics need that you will you can come up they with. They will always need food, clothing, shelter, or and personal services. Like, yeah. For instance, I, I, I know people in, in Gary, uh, you know, where I go, where I take care of my, my mother-in-law, me and my wife. They do home care. It's church sends, sends people right. out in the home. Right. And, you know, it's always something that you yep. can do. So people uh, people still got to get their grass cut? That's, that's the exactly. The car got to be washed? I mean, everybody everybody's not going to lose their job. No, everybody's not. It's, you, you may it's have 20 percent. Right. You may not. You don't, you're not going to get 50 percent unemployment. No. Yeah. And the, and the country has 300 million people. So even like you said, it's kind of funny. 300 million people. Half the folks ain't really working anyway, but stuff has to still get done. Oh, yeah. Commerce will continue on, but it will be at a slower pace. Right. And the guy is, if you can get a grant, but try you, to come but up you with a good call, idea. Call Dr. Warren off the air. Call him off the air, man. Come on. You know, it's easy to find Dr. Warren. I mean, people got to be smart. Yeah. People say, I can't find you, Marcus. 773-509-8124. Yeah, you're, 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 a, you're, you're an org. You're a .org, okay? So give your phone number again. Again, that's 773-509-8124. 773-509-8124. Or you can email me at plim, P-L-I-M, at P-L-I-M dot O-R-G. Yeah, I mean, people, come on. They, they, that's, I think Plim, uh, you know, they can look you up. You're, you're, you're a nonprofit, ORG. Yeah, we're, 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 on, uh, we're yeah. on the Internet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you got another question? What? I hear, I hear somebody on the phone. I'm, I'm going to give you a call. Okay, cool. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, get, call them off the air. We can talk, all, we talk off the air. Yeah. Uh, all right, the, Bill, we got another phone call? No, they, okay, we did. I'm looking right. Okay. <laughs> they, ain't, they ain't on the line yet. My thing is that. How, okay, we're gonna we're gonna have a recession. Is gonna be a prolonged recession. They say it's over, but it ain't gonna be really over for most Americans. It's gonna be like this. It's gonna be a, like a permanent recession for most Americans. Listen, it cannot. Listen, seventy percent people. Listen to what I say. Listen to what I'm saying. Seventy percent. I say again. Seventy percent of the economy is consumer spending. Now you got uh, pretty close to almost ten percent unemployment. See now. If the people are unemployed, where they where how are they gonna spend? And everybody is too fearful to spend, and people are too deep in debt. So listen, there is no hope of this thing ever turning around. Listen, the only way they got uh, uh, the economy to perk up, they get cash for clunkers, mm -hmm. and that was the big thing for this for all for 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 for, 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 for the summer. People came in and and, 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 and bought uh, you know turned their old cars in for cash. But after that, this thing is going to fall off the table. People, people are afraid. I, I think before the recession, we had a negative savings rate. We had ne people went from a negative to almost about a 7% of savings rate. Yes, exactly. I heard like over 6 almost 7% savings rate. Because people, people are, are scared. They are terrified. They're so terrified. if they sell that, they can't spend. And nobody's spending nothing. The only thing they're buying is basic necessities. You can walk into any store. I don't care what it is, Tarche, uh, Whole Foods. Folks got very few things in the basket. You see what I'm saying? Right. And they're only buying stuff on sale. I think it was Kroger, one of the big grocers, they said that we're making money, but people just buying the basics. That's it. They ain't buying nothing exotic. That's it. People are frightened. That's it. And I don't blame them being frightened because it is frightening because this is the first recession that, you know, I live, we live in, you know, we live in the hood. We live in Chicago, you know. But this is the first recession that I know a lot of folks lost their job. Most recession, everybody, everybody had a little penny any job. They ain't, you know, service job. They ain't lose no job. But doing a red session, they mean nothing. This is the first one I know people lose, lost their job. They are and they're scared. And if you're 50 years old or over 50 and you lost 50%, I know some of your portfolio may have gone up, but if you lost a lot of your 401k and you lost your job or you think you're going to lose your job, you are frightened. Well, listen, Harvard, Harvard Endowment was one of the largest endowments in the country. Now, that's that investment fund for Harvard University and Yale. Harvard lost 20, 25% and Yale lost about 35%. So if they lost that much, wait a minute, we're dealing with the smart boys. If they lost 25%, the average man is out, he's worth 50 or 60%, he's out, he's, he's, he's gone. Before I take this phone call, I gotta ask Dr. Warren, when the stock market crashed and people lost their money, their investments, <coughs> they lost their 401k, I lost a lot of money. Some of us, maybe 25% has gone back, from the, but not from that 50% I lost, because I didn't pull it out like you told me to, to buy gold. Right. <laughs> but the point is, where did the, where did the money go? Listen, listen to what I say, money and wealth is not destroyed, it changes hands. So if you lose a tree, and it's just like we got a pot, we, 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 mm -hmm. I got 10 people and we in a crap mm -hmm. game. If I lose 50 and you lose 100, well, somebody else had to gain it, gain money in, in, in the game, because ain't no money falling from heaven. Ain't no so, so where did the money go? It changed hands. It, it was taken. People, in other words, listen, 
there are two ways of making money in the stock market. You make money when the stock market goes up. They call it going long. Then you can short the stock market. In other words, you sell the stock. In other words, you buy the stock as long as you, you buy the stock first and you wait for it to go up and you sell it at a higher price. Mm -hmm. Where shorting stock is the reverse. You, you short the stock, use it at a high point, and you wait for it to drop to buy it back. Mm -hmm. So then when you buy it back, you gain, if you short a stock at 100 mm -hmm. and it goes to 50, where the difference between 50 and 100, when you buy it back, it's $50. Dollars. You got $50 dollars in your pocket. Well, what happened, somebody shorted the market on the side. You got buyers and sellers. Mm -hmm. So somebody shorted the stock, and when the, uh, when the stocks failed, they bought, they, they, they got a huge amount of wealth. The wealth didn't just disappear, it just changed hands. Well, it ain't changing these hands. No, not your <laughs> hands. The <laughs> pension call. funds, they went into some of the wealthiest hedge, hedge funds. The so-called, uh, 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 the Illuminati, we call them the masters of the universe. The masters of the universe. That's and it. And what's so bad, what's so bizarre about it, a lot of stock went down 50%, then it went up 25%. So if you were able to, if you were liquid, and you bought some stock when it was at the bottom, and it went 25%, you'd have made, I mean, if, you, if you're a multimillionaire, you made some real money. Well, money, when stocks went down again, we are back up, the stock's up, I mean, it's S&P 500 is up 50%, and then and the Dow Jones is up 40% from, from the low, March lows. So, yeah. But a lot I mean, of little guys didn't make that made oh, no no, money. No, 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 no. We, we all got scared. And and then, no, no, that was, we, that a lot was of folks got scared. They, they shut down their form way k They wouldn't cash. So when the stock market went back up, a lot of little people didn't make no money off of that. That, that was the government pumping the money back up, and they, and they did a, the feds pumped it back up, and there was an the inside Goldman Sachs. All the boys made the money. This is, this is a true mafia. They, that's how they made their money. And all of a sudden, probably sometime in October, they'll take it back down again. Up and down. They make money on the up and down. It's like an elevator. It's a game. It's a game. Uh, caller, you're next on Viewpoint Live. Hello, uh, thank you, Brother Mark. I, I'd like the good doctor to speak to three issues. Uh, the food deserts where you have these large amounts of the population and one little bitty grocery store. Uh, also, the confusion and distraction that we're going through with the advent of these extra channels, uh, Direct TV, uh, the other markets that have these sensational channel selections, and yet uh, it speaks to that issue that you were saying about the tremendous amount of time that we waste with PlayStation and other nonsensical games, as well as what would be your answer to, to solve some of the economic problems that we have right now? And I just want to add that both of you men are, are true giants in, in your field, and I'm looking forward to big and uh, monumental things from you. Thank you very much. Yeah, call Dr. Warren. I'll, 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 when we get off the air now, call okay, him up. Uh, okay. Well, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the one about the, uh, the uh, how to solve the problem is you're going to have to be re-educated. This thing is, I don't think it, the institutions are taking over. And I think, it, it, well, put it this way, it's going to have to be done in the churches or new churches, a new organization of those churches that are able to illuminate people on a spiritual basis. Understand, listen, you're dealing with some that's, that's satanic. It's there not to empower you but to enslave you. Uh, education uh, to be illuminated, to be uh, intelligent, is not. Uh, 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 it, it, it's it's cool. It's just something that you need. You know, you, you don't need all this gangster rap and stuff that they're teaching, uh, 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 that they put forth. So what you need to do is, basically, organizations need to start educating folks on one how to uh, uh, one to deal with the economic issue, what they need to do to get back and get control of their neighborhoods. I will tell you this. Let me say this. Blacks and whites, you will not be able, the, the corporations will never hire as many people as they have ever hired before. It's over with. In the marketing, they, 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 they done cut that back 50%. They're never going to do that. Wall Street banking, that's never. So what you're going to do, we're going to have to go back to in the very, very beginning to entrepreneurships. Mm -hmm. And see, most blacks in our neighborhood, we don't control none of that stuff. I mean, as a matter of fact, in most whites, we have a lot of foreigners that come in and et cetera, et cetera. But my saying is, people are going to have to start becoming entrepreneurships doing things that will, uh, 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 you know, simple things that they can do to, uh, 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 you know, w like for instance, uh, a lady that I know is baking cookies. She, she, this is how she's starting out. I mean, it's a, it's a thousand things that you sit down and ask the father what, how to be led. Things can, can happen in the economy that you can do. You're going to have to basically re-educate yourself and understand that the system that you're in, that's two. And then uh, uh, three, as, as, as I said, what was the first question? I forget. The, the main thing is that it's, it's really ignorance. Well, it's ignorance across the board. That's it.